Once upon a time, there were three princesses who were sisters, each one year older than the other. And in their kingdom, there was a plague, and it ravaged the land. The citizens were dying by the dozens. Even the king and the queen were threatened and lay in their beds with high fevers. The three princesses came together and said, we must do something ourselves to save our land. And they went out of the palace and they called out to death himself and challenged death himself to come there and stand before them that they could challenge him for the lives of the citizens of their kingdom. And death arrived on a horse of bones. And as he swung his skeletal legs down from his saddle of ivory, his black robe glistened and his scythe gleamed in the sunlight. He stood before them, towering over all three, and said, What would three princesses with death? And princess number one, the youngest princess, said, We challenge you. Ask us a question, and if we cannot answer it, you may take our lives. But if we can answer your question, you must leave our kingdom alone and take your plague with you. Death thought for a minute. And usually death has a rather dull job. It's all just swinging the scythe, cut, cut, cutting the threads of life, day in and day out, they all go the same. So Death said, Very well, I agree to the bargain. Here is your question. What confounds Death? The first princess thought, and thought, and thought she wanted to be very careful with her answer. And she said finally, after some time, Love. Love is the strongest thing there is. Love conquers all. Love confounds death. And death said, Wrong. See my scythe? Its blade takes down every lover. The luckiest pairs in the world. One watches the other die first. Love, it does not confound me. And with that he swung his side, and the youngest princess fell to the ground. The second princess stepped up and said, I know what confounds death. Memory. Memory confounds death, for memory lives on after those who die. She was very pleased, having thought that out. But death said, wrong. Everyone who carries a memory of someone who has died, dies themselves. My scythe will take them in time. And he swung it again. And with that, the second oldest princess fell to the ground. Only the eldest princess remained. Death turned to her, his scythe at the ready. And she looked at Death. And she looked at him from toes up to the point of his hood. And then stared at him right in his empty eye sockets. And Death said, Well, do you know what confounds Death? And the princess, looking right at the white bone of his skull face, said, A kiss. 
You cannot kiss me. You have no lips. And Death dropped his scythe. He mounted his horse of bones, and as he rode away, the other two princesses roused themselves as though from a sleep and stood back up. The kingdom recovered within half an hour. And when the two princesses said to their eldest sister, what was the answer? What confounded death? She kissed each of them on the cheek.